Hello. We're at our Golden Gate Hostel in uh, East Jerusalem, the Palestinian Quarter, on day one of a five-week trip to Palestine. While we're here, uh, we hope to share with you and give you little glimpses of our day-to-day -day life um, as we experience it. Tomorrow we'll be going down to Hebron um, on the bus to Bethlehem and then by taxi into Hebron and staying with the community peacemaker teams and volunteering with them. And um, you'll notice that our videos um, will focus on what we see in Palestine in the occupied territories and not uh, on Israel. And that is because in the West it's very difficult to find out more about Palestinian life and to hear the stories of the Palestinians. And so we'll show, try to give you a glimpse into what we see and we hope that you find our day-to-day, open-minded, just experiences of what we see and hear um, might interest you and maybe engage you um, and encourage you to learn more. There is no way that in these videos we'll have time to go into the long history of the area and of the conflict, um, but if you want to ask us questions um, or uh, get book recommendations to find out more, we'll be really happy to share with you. Um, while we're in Hebron, we'll be um, escorting children to school. Uh, we'll be doing uh, visits around the town to shopkeepers and families, hearing of their experiences. Um, and later on, um, hopefully, we'll be participating in the olive harvest. Um, why would two retired Westerners want to spend five weeks in Hebron. Hebron, which is a large city with a long history and actually encapsulates everything there is about the conflict. If you want to understand the conflict, come to Hebron. Um, but we've been uh, interested and active and engaged, as many of you know, in the Palestinian Israeli conflict for decades now and following um, a trip to Hebron and the occupied territories with Christian peacemaker teams six or seven years ago, we feel like once you've seen the injustices, you can't unsee them and so we have to do something and so we hope that we will in some way assist somewhat um, but also that by sharing what we see, that we might encourage others to attempt to understand. Um, and we'll show you the good and the bad, because there's plenty of bad, but there's also a lot of beauty, amazing resilience of the Palestinian people, um, who remain in many ways joyful and full of life. And we'll show you some great food, we hope, yeah. Um, and uh, some beauty along the way. Thanks for tuning in.